and a huge feather in the cap for green tea, reinforcing its value as a powerful cancer fighter. There was a research article published this January 22, 2015 in the online journal called Molecular Nutrition and Food Research. The title of the article for press release was called Green Tea Ingredient May Target Protein to Kill Oral Cancer Cells. And the way it did it before I proceed is it worked by generating what's called reactive oxygen species, meaning like a free radical, which caused the cancer cells literally to basically fall apart from the inside. Now, the citation title for researchers was called Potent Inhibition of VEGFR-2 Activation by Type Binding of Green Tea Epogallocatogen, Gallate, and Apple Procyanids to VEGF, Relevance to Angiogenesis, and the citation title will be down below for you researchers out there. This is what happened. They took a Petri dish and they grew normal cells and cancer cells and exposed it to something called EGCG, which is that epigallocatechin gallate uh, that we talked about, which is found in apples and obviously, of course, heavily in green tea. And this is what happened. These are quotes from the study itself, not my quotes, but actually quotes lifted from the study. A compound found in green tea may trigger a cycle that kills oral cancer cells while leaving healthy cells alone, according to the Penn State researchers. It looks like EGCG causes the formation of reactive oxygen species, think of that as a free radical, which it is, in cancer cells, which damages the mitochondria, the energy powerhouse of the cell. And then the mitochondria responds by making more free radicals for reactive oxygen species. So it creates this cascade effect. As the mitochondrial demise continues, the cancer cell also reduces the expression of the antioxidants genes, meaning the cancer cell no longer can defend itself, even from its free radicals that it's producing, further lowering its defenses. So, again, keep on quoting from the study. So it's turning off its mechanism of protection at the same time the EGCG, epigallocatogen gallate, is causing this oxidative stress, the researcher said. The EGCG did not cause this reaction in normal cells. So keep this in mind, you hear free radical generation, you go, oh no, what about the rest of me? It's gonna age me. No, the weird part about it is it just targeted the cancer cells and left the normal cells alone. It says, in fact, it appeared to increase the protective capabilities of the cell according to the researchers. It says they, they also, they found out they are researched by doing this. They grew the normal and cancer cells on petri dishes. So keep in mind, this has to be done in animals and it has to be done in humans too to validate the information which they discovered through petri dishes because metabolism and biochemistry could change results. So keep that in mind. They exposed both the normal cells and the cancer cells to EGCG in the petri dish. The major polyphenols found in green tea at concentrations typically found in saliva after chewing green tea chewing gum. So a lot of people normally go, oh, well, they have to use tons of green tea in order to get that effect. No, the research was done on green tea levels in a Petri dish that could be easily obtained in the diet itself. So what this research does is it reinforces the value as green tea is a powerful ally against certain types of cancer. Again, we're off to our channel, signing off once again.